welcome back to another video. Today's video is in my local forest. You will have seen from my last video, um, I did a lakeside walk at my local lake, in very foggy and misty conditions. Well, right now um, it's very close to the end of autumn. We're in mid to late November and uh, we've had a lot of really wet weather. Um, I mean, I've been desperate to get out with a camera, but it just hasn't been possible. Um, there's a break in the weather today actually, um, just after lunchtime, and I've run out with my, my kit and I've come down to my local forest. And I wanted to do a very similar exercise to my last video, which was really to come out with the idea of just five uh, images, keeping things really simple. Um, so today I'm shooting with my GH4 and uh, I've got a range of three lenses with me. So I've got the wide angle 714, I've got the 1235, and I've got the 3500. So um, I'm pretty good for a range of uh, focal lengths. Now the challenge is gonna be trying to find five compositions uh, for this uh, woodland walk. I've actually found my first composition and it wasn't what I was expecting. Um, I'm just next to this fallen tree trunk and um, I was trying to look for a composition uh, to use this as a leading line but it wasn't really working how I wanted it to so what I've actually noticed is um, there's a, a fungi that's growing from underneath and I'm going to compose in a landscape orientation with this as a foreground focal element in the composition and I've actually got a lot of leaves that are in this tree trunk here as well with lots of autumnal colours. So yeah, hopefully that will be a, a nice first composition and I'll really try and draw out the textures that are in the, uh, the broken tree trunk here. It should be a good one. So one of the challenges I find with woodland photography um, is actually the density of trees. Um, you can come into a forest like this and everything around you looks absolutely incredible. And then actually when you get into the forest floor and you start walking around, it's very, very difficult to pick a composition out. Um, it's just so busy. Um, so I think woodland photography isn't always about the landscape elements itself. It can also be about um, the finer detail. Um, things like moss, uh, tree trunks, leaves, fungi, um, all the other things that you typically find on a forest floor. And those are the, the small details that it's worthwhile just keeping an eye out for as you walk around. Um, obviously today I'm really struggling for light, so it means that I'm going to have to use the tripod um, because I'm going to be using uh, quite slow shutter speeds. Um, so in, in the instance when there isn't a lot of light, I'm down at around tenth or even eighth of a second. Um, the tripod's absolutely essential. But we'll keep wandering and see um, see if I can pick out a couple more compositions. I'm hoping the rain will hold off because I only have one image in the bag out of the five. And uh, yeah, this is proving to be more of a challenge than I first thought. I've just come into a clearing and uh, it's actually on a boundary area where there's some replanting of, of trees, so I want to be respectful of that. Um, and yeah, I mean, woodland photography is a challenge because you do have so much going on. Um, I've actually just got my camera set up here because you can probably see it's quite a cloudy day today. It's quite overcast. I think it's going to stay dry. Um, but just in this scene, we've got these nice grasses here. And um, there's one tree that stands out that's more yellow than the others. So I've really just kept things simple. Put the tree in the center of the composition and I've got the 12 to 35 millimeter lens on here on the, the GH4 and that's the equivalent of 2470 so it works really well. Use these grasses as the foreground, include a little bit of the grey sky. I might bracket, I'm not sure, I'll have a look, I might have a play with that, see if I can bring some more detail out in the sky. I'm not using any filters today because again I just want to keep things simple. And hopefully I can really make that, that uh, tree in the centre there with those yellow leaves pop and that's the image I'm going for so let's see if we can get it. Okay, so I'm at f10. It's giving me a shutter speed of uh, 15th of a second. My ISO is relatively low at 100. And uh, yeah, there's some 
contrasty clouds coming over right now, so I'm just going to wait because we do have some wind movement. There's even a little bit of blue sky up there. Um, hopefully a slightly darker cloud will come in and uh, I'll take my first image and then probably bracket and see if I can just get a little bit more uh, depth in that contrast between the scene in the foreground and the sky. So yeah, it's looking quite nice. Another tip, um, what I tend to do is I use the timer uh, like that. Um, I'm not touching the camera. I don't have a remote for this GH4, but the timer works really well. The other thing I do is I make sure that my bag is attached here, just down here on my tripod. Um, and that gives me much more stability. Make sure I don't get any camera shake. So it works pretty well. So, um, I knew coming into forest it was going to be creatively very challenging because um, I mentioned before there are so many trees and you're looking for compositions just really isn't easy to do. Um, what I've got here is I've got to my right and to my left a lot of younger trees that are very very clustered together and then I've got some older trees with wider trunks and I've been walking around for about 10 minutes. There are a few things that have caught my eye but just by moving my tripod around I haven't really found a composition that I like I just can't seem to get the elements together um, what I'm going to do next is take an image and I don't know if I'm going to keep it or not um, but I have in front of me uh, two tree trunks and um, it it actually resembles almost uh, the base of the trunk resemble almost kind of like talons or feet um, I'm working at around about f9 and uh, I'm going to take an image um, but it's one of those where I'm just experimenting, going to see what it looks like. And then I'm probably going to wander off um, a little bit further into the forest. The sun's coming through now, so um, if I can actually get some back lighting on some of the leaves, that'll be fantastic. I've now put the wide angle lens on. Um, now with the Panasonic system the wide angle is a 7 to 14 millimeter so that's 14 to 28 equivalent it's an f4 um, and I was getting some light come th coming through um, through the trees here and um, again I just took some time to, to see whether I could get any key lighting in any particular areas that were going to make an image stand out and right above me um, there's a lot of cloud so um, this is another image that I'm really going to experiment on let me show you just underneath here. So you can see I'm pointing directly up. Um, this is a shot that I've seen many times before. Um, there's nothing original about this shot. Um, but for me, I wanted to come into the forest. I wanted to do some woodland photography. And the idea was for me to get kind of five images as a minimum um, of different compositions to really explore what the possibilities would be for just coming into the forest for a couple of hours um, and, and being creative. So what's great about this lens is it is really wide, even though it's a micro four thirds camera, um, there is some distortion on it and uh, Lightroom does correct it really well. So I might keep that distortion to give it a sense of space. Um, I might correct it, I don't know. Um, but I'm gonna take the shot and uh, yeah, it might be another one of those that I, I might even try some brackets, bracketed exposure again, because the sky is very gray. come deeper into the forest and uh, yeah it's still a challenge um, I'm not getting the landscape shots that I really want today don't ask me why <laughs> sometimes it happens like that um, but it's all good practice it's all good uh, skill and camera craft but I have found something I'm really happy with um, this forest is mainly beech trees and there is let me see if I can get it in frame Where is it? There is a beech tree, maybe over this shoulder. There it is, this beech tree here. So this beech tree is really tall, um, but it has this uh, branch that's um, growing very low to the ground. So I've used that as a, uh, a focus point. And I'm gonna do two, um, two images. 
One I'm going to slightly underexpose, um, again to give it kind of that uh, atmospheric uh, kind of woodland feel to it. And then I'm actually going to overexpose by about one and a half stops to do a black and white conversion. So kind of like a high key image because there is some light on those branches. And as I look in my um, viewfinder and also my um, screen, I can see those highlights coming through. So it, it, I think it will come out really nicely as a black and white. Um, and I may even try it as a portrait. I've also still got the long lens on um, because I kind of want to compress that focal point into the, um, into the image. And uh, I'm at about F9. Um, yeah, quite a long shutter speed. So for the overexposed, I'm about 1.3 seconds. So not ideal, but it's quite a still day. There's not much wind, so it's not going to get much motion blur on that branch. But yeah, I think that'll be the last shot of the day. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, it's been quite a simple one. Uh, a lot of what my channel is about is trying to keep photography accessible and simple and uh, really take advantage of the surroundings that are close to us and on our doorstep. This is a forest I know very well. I've been here many, many times before. Um, and sometimes it's just good to get out. It's good to push yourself. It's good to try and come to places um, and create imagery um, in your own backyard. So I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, please check out my other videos on my channel. Um, and if you like them, subscribe and leave a comment and I will see you at the next one.